Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. I am Krista McNamara, Managing Editor of ABRN Magazine, and we're here today for the webinar, Are You Ready for Aluminum Repair? which is going to be presented by Sean Collins, who's the Senior Technical Service Director with 3M, and Rick Miller, who's the Assistant Vice President of Operations for CarStar Auto Body Repair Experts. Before we begin, I wanted to thank uh, Gary Goddard and his team at CarStar CarCraft in Chesterfield, Missouri for hosting the webinar. Throughout the presentation, we always welcome your questions and comments, and you can submit these in one of two ways. One, you can send them by email directly to aluminumrepair at vmg1.com. Again, that's aluminumrepair, all one word, at vmg1.com. Or you can post them as a comment in the tool underneath the screen that you're watching. All the questions that we gather in the tool at the bottom of the screen will be answered in a written form by Sean and Rick. I can then email this uh, written Q&A out to all of those who registered for the webinar probably in the next few days. I will also post it at the bottom of the page for easy reference. If you'd like to watch this webinar again or want to direct anyone that you know to watch it, you can find it after the live event at abrn.com slash aluminum repair. Again, that's abrn.com slash aluminum repair. So again, thank you for joining and let's get started. I'm Krista McNamara, Managing Editor with ABRN Magazine. As the Ford F-150 all-aluminum body pickup rolls into dealerships across the country, our collision repair professionals are faced with a new challenge, but also a new opportunity in repairing these vehicles. So today we brought together two of the industry's leaders in preparing for aluminum repair, 3M Automotive Aftermarket Division and CarStar Auto Body Repair Experts. And we get to take a look at the new Ford F-150 today. CarStar Auto Body Repair Experts is the only MSO with a qualified aluminum repair consulting and certification focused program to handle repairs on these and other aluminum body vehicles. And 3M has been working with OEMs for several years to validate the tools, products, and processes for aluminum repair. Now 3M is helping shops around the country to implement their proven portfolio of products, tools, SOPs, and materials to expertly repair aluminum body vehicles. And we at ABRN have polled our readers about some of the biggest questions and concerns about aluminum repair, and today our experts are going to help us tackle these. So please welcome today Rick Miller. Rick, how are you? Good, thanks, Chris. How are you? Good, thank you. Rick is the AVP of Operations with CarStar Auto Body Repair Experts, and we also have with us today Sean Collins. Hi, Krista. Thank you for having Hi, me. Hi, Sean. Thank you. Sean is the Senior Technical Service Engineer for 3M Automotive Aftermarket Division, and he's also an iCar instructor. So, Rick is a 34-year veteran of the collision repair industry in both the United States and Europe, and for the past 11 years, Rick has performed the on-site aluminum standards for Jaguar Land Rover, and he's also been working with and helping to support CarStar for nearly eight years, and has also helped in the development of the CarStar Edge Performance Operations Platform. And in preparation for the launch of the all-aluminum bodied 2015 Ford F-150, Rick has helped to lead the development of the CarStar Internal Aluminum Certification Program. And Sean is currently a senior technical service engineer with 3M's Automotive Aftermarket Division, and he has worked for 26 years as an ASC Master iCar Platinum Collision Technician. He's been an iCar instructor for 20 years and received awards such as Instructor of the Year in 2009 and the Tech Center Award in 2011 for his work as a pilot class instructor and on new class development. He is an administrator for the iCar Steel and Aluminum Welding Qualification Tests, and he's written articles for trade publications such as ABRN. Edmonds, and Auto Body Journal. He's also a frequent speaker at industry events such as NACE, SEMA, AASP, and ARA conventions. Thanks, Krista, and thanks to the audience for joining us today. Hi, I'm Sean Collins. Aluminum repair was certainly the hot topic at SEMA this year and continues to be in 2015. It's a big change for the industry, and today we want to help you understand why aluminum is important, how you can determine if your shop is right for aluminum, what equipment and improvements you need, to make your shop ready for aluminum repairs and how to train your team of technicians for aluminum repairs. In the past, exotic vehicles were the mainstream for aluminum repair, but today with the F-150 arriving, we're gonna see a lot more of these vehicles, aluminum intensive structures in the shops. The current government mandated CAFE standards, that's corporate average fuel economy standards, are set for 50 miles per gallon by 2025. 
This means manufacturers need to lighten up vehicle structures and make them more fuel efficient. Aluminum is a great option and isn't really new. It's been used in commercial vehicles for nearly two decades and can lighten larger vehicles by up to 700 pounds and smaller vehicles by nearly 400 pounds. It's the most readily available metal on earth, so it's a great natural resource. But it is more difficult to repair and has no memory. So technicians will have to use different repair methods and different materials, including up to 4,000 rivets and 150 yards of adhesives on some structures. So how big is the aluminum repair market? The F-150 pickup is already on the road, and more vehicles are expected to convert to aluminum with each new launch, including in 2018, the Ford Super Duty range. GM has a couple platforms, 2018, the Silverado and the 2018 Tahoe, and the 2017 Jeep Wrangler is scheduled to be aluminum intensive. Thank you, Sean. My name is Rick Miller. Depending on what part of the country you live in and the typical vehicles you repair, you could see a growing demand for aluminum repair in your shop. So what are the insurance companies doing? They're building systems from first notification of loss to inform the customer of their nearest authorized aluminum repair center, how shops will be ready, how, they, how it will be communicated to the insurance companies, and who is validating the compliance and how often. So, Rick, it sounds like there's a lot to take into consideration when you're thinking about taking on aluminum repair, and it is very smart to do your homework. Shop owners frequently ask me whether they should pursue aluminum repair. Here are a few things to evaluate when considering this opportunity. The first thing to consider is your return on investment or ROI. Look at how many F-150s you've repaired in the last three years and the gross profit assigned to those repairs. And then you can apply a percentage of that and that will give you how many number of vehicles you need per month and per year over a five-year period to get your return on investment. Are you prepared to invest in the tools, equipment and training that it will take? Altogether, the tools, equipment and training to become a recognized structural repair shop is probably between fifty to two hundred thousand dollars, and to become a non-structural repair shop, between eighteen and twenty-five thousand dollars. Do you want to pursue structural or non-structural repairs? Also, talk to your insurance company. What are, the, what are your major DRPs asking for you, and how to support them? If you are part of a multi-store operator, you should discuss with your local group how the market wants to approach this. In some markets, we are seeing one store that invests in structural repairs and the others invest in non-structural repairs. And that's a decision the MSO has to make within that market. If you choose this path, your local group would need to identify the communication process with the customer, a referral process and fee, and the coordination with your insurance companies. So once you've determined that you're ready to move forward, you'll need to plan for a three to six month implementation of your new aluminum repair area. Sean, how do shops proceed once they've decided that aluminum repair is the right thing for them? So you've decided you want to pursue aluminum repairs, Rick. Now what do you do next? There are a number of things to consider in tools, equipment, and products. The key in handling non-structural or structural aluminum repairs is to create an entirely separate environment from the rest of the shop to avoid contaminating aluminum with steel dust or carbon contaminants that can cause galvanic corrosion. Contamination can lead to paint and adhesion failures, which translate to rework and damage parts that impact your KPIs. Most shops create their own clean room by using a curtain structure such as the one behind me here or by utilizing a completely separate room or building such as the building we're in here as well. Regardless, aluminum repair will require a separate tool cart with an entirely separate set of tools, products, and materials used only for aluminum repairs. Additionally, self-generated vacuum tools from 3M are a low-cost alternative for dust extraction. Separate safety equipment is also important as technicians will need to dedicate respirators, eye protection, and gloves for aluminum repair. Behind me, you'll see a few options specific for aluminum repair regarding tool and equipment. There's a repair bench with a, with a dedicated fixture system, aluminum dent pulling station, a vacuum system for aluminum dust, and a, a welding welder specific to aluminum, and then of course a self-piercing rivet gun. 3M makes the seam sealers, premium body fillers, undercoats, and abrasives that can be used on both aluminum and steel. The difference lies not in the products and materials needed for the repair, but in the repair process itself. 3M premium body fillers and glazes contain high quality adhesion promoters and are approved for the use on aluminum. Please follow all OEM directions and standard operating procedures. For sanding, 3M recommends its line of Cubitron 2 abrasives that cut faster and run cooler. As we mentioned, the repair process is critical here. So next we'll discuss the training your shop needs. 
Training is always a priority for top shops, but it's even more important when you're dealing with changing materials and technologies like aluminum. So Rick, what types of training do shops need and who offers it? When the decision has been made to move forward with aluminum repairs, you'll need to get your team enrolled in the training they'll need for certification. Enrolled at least one technician in the ICAR FOR 06 training course. Yeah, that's right, Rick. Also enroll at least one technician to take and pass the ICAR aluminum welding qualification test, as well as enroll at least one technician in the Ford specific collision and body shop essentials course. Absolutely. The Ford courses are a great starting point, but take every available ICAR aluminum related course to ensure technicians are fully aware and capable of repairing aluminum. That's right. As an ICAR instructor, I teach these classes and I can attest to how valuable that training is. 3M has also developed standard operating procedures for the use of all 3M products and solutions for aluminum repairs. These are available at 3mcollision.com. Here's a few other quick tips and cons uh, considerations you'll need for aluminum repairs. Absolutely. Select your best technician. You know, make sure they're the ones that want to do it. They want to invest, invest in aluminum repair and support aluminum repair. And then consult the vehicle manufacturers that you wish to engage in aluminum repair so they understand their tooling, equipment, and training needs. Also remember that all 3M materials have been tested and approved for aluminum use. We've tested these materials on both steel and aluminum, so there's no issues with compatibility. Keep in mind as well that 3M 8115 panel bonding adhesive is specifically called out by Ford and recommended for the repairs of the F-150, as well as the 3M file belt tool and the belts and abrasives. Aluminum repairs are not new to our industry. However, with a popular vehicle like the F-150 turning to an aluminum structure, it will be new for some shops. It's really no different than the adjustments we've needed to make over the years to working with high strength steels or waterborne paints and things of that nature. So as long as you have the correct tools, equipment and training, it should be a relatively smooth transition. For more information on aluminum repairs, see us at 3mcollision.com. Absolutely, Sean. We are educating our car star stores to go into this eyes wide open so they understand the true cost of repair and entry into aluminum repairs. To learn more about car star and how we assist independent shop owners improve their operations, please visit our website at carstar.com. So thank you again, everyone, for your time and help on ABRN's latest webinar. To watch the video again, it's available at abrn.com slash aluminum ready. Again, that's abrn.com slash aluminum ready.